issues. Um, a lot of people have problems with this uh, divi coming up with you're using the wrong plugins or the plugins have got a conflict and restart the builder and restart your plugins. But we've got a fix here and all you have to do is go to elegantmarketplace.com, type in fix and you'll be presented with fix the builder error. Now on this page, there's just a little bit about the code here. So before using this plugin, and you can donate if you wish, it's been made by Jonathan Bossinger. But it might be an idea just to put this line of code at the top of your HT access file. So let's substitute max, max line length 10M. So you can try the plugin if, you, if this doesn't work. But uh, a lot of people are having issues with what is an HT access file. So let's go through that. Here I am in my control panel, which I've got. So I've go to my file manager and this is my test server. Now a lot of control panels may look like this or very, very similar. And you'll see an ac you might see an HT access file in the actual root of your control panel. You don't want that one, you want this one. So in my Divi cloud test area, I've got an HT access file and there it is. And all I do is right mouse and I say edit and that gives me what uh, is in there. There's no 301 directs, there's nothing in there at all apart from what I need to run WordPress. So I copy it all and I save that to a text file. And I just leave that, I know I'm not going to use that. And then I go back to fix the Divi builder error and I copy that code and just pop that in to the top, just like that, simple as that. So I save and close that, and that save that, and then I go to my Divi Cloud area, and I just make sure that my website is working perfectly, and it does. So I'll just go into the admin, login, just go to a page, Add new, use the Divi Builder in the complete certainty that everything's going to work perfectly. And there you go. One Divi Builder fixed. And that's how you fix the Divi Builder 